Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this right triangle ABC and uh, this uh, segment BC, uh, the base is divided into three parts. So uh, opposite to these uh, three equal angles, uh, each measured as alpha. So angle A is divided into three uh, by alpha. Uh, each, uh, I mean alpha for each uh, angle. And this angle is opposite the uh, divided segment BC in which it is divided into three parts, three units and four units and uh, X uh, units. And we are required to find the length of the segment X of this uh, right triangle ABC. Okay, so first thing that we may do is we can actually draw a line. That we copy this uh, three unit segment to the left. Okay, and uh, if, since we copied this uh, three unit segment to the left, then uh, the resulting segment from A to this uh, point. Okay, so let's say that this is a F. So it will be the same. Uh, this length should be will be the same as this. This length and this will be a right angle and. Uh, uh, okay, so this will be FC will be also 3 and also of course this will be also alpha Okay, so next is we label this uh, sides uh, the side a b as uh, m And this side the uh, a e I mean uh, a d so a d let's call this as n sorry and this since uh, a f is uh, congruent with the a d so this will be n also. Next is uh, we review this uh, angle bisector theorem. So the angle bisector theorem states that an angle bisector of a triangle divides the opposite sides into two segments that are proportional to the sides, the two sides of the triangle. So an angle bisector is a ray that divides into divides a given angle into two equal angles of equal measures okay so in our case so if you focus on the triangle a a f a b f okay so the angle by the, the we need to focus on this uh, angle bisector a d so a d and it divides the uh, the uh, this uh this angle uh, at a into two equal angles that is this angle two alpha and this two alpha so this is two alpha and this uh, two alpha okay so uh, the sides are proportional to the length of the Two sides so the two sides will be uh, for this uh, the left of the bisector it will be uh, this 3 plus 3 so this 3 plus 3 so this becomes 6 and for this uh, other side it will be a uh, 4 plus X okay so the two segments I mean this uh, two segments are uh, FD and uh, uh, DF is divided into a ratio which is the ratio of these uh, two sides uh, this M side AB and AF so if we uh, we can actually make an equation about it so uh, if we take the ratio of this uh, AB so it will be M, A, B, and A, F. So M over N is equal to, so for the corresponding 2M, it is a 4 plus X. And the corresponding to uh, N is a 6. Okay. Okay, so next is we focus on triangle A, D, B. So ADB. So the 
uh, angle by sector is this uh, AE. Okay. And the two segments that are subdivided is, uh, I mean that it is a uh, 4 and X. Okay. So it is proportional to these two segments M and N. So having this triangle uh, ADB. So uh, again, so the ratio of uh, M, if we get the ratio of N, M over N for this uh, triangle. So let's write here ADB. So ADB. So for uh, A, uh, sorry, ABF, that was ABF, sorry. So ABF. So ABF. And this is for ADB. It is equal to, I mean, M over N is equal to the corresponding to M is uh, X. And the corresponding to N is uh, 4. Okay. And uh, we simply equate these two equations. So since uh, M over N is equal to M over N. So for the first instance, so uh, 4 plus X over 6, it is equal to x over 4. Okay, so uh, we can actually divide the denominator by 2, so 3, and uh, this becomes 2. So uh, 2 times, if we cross multiply x plus 4, is equal to 3x. Uh, okay, so 2x plus 8 is equal to 3x and continuing so we have a 3x minus 2x is equal to 8 so 3x minus 2x is x is equal to 8 units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.